All over the U.S., including in Florida, there's a new method being used to predict COVID-19 outbreaks. Yeah, researchers are sampling wastewater. Today we learned that Orange County, Florida had a 600% increase in COVID found in wastewater samples. Dr. Ian Pepper with the University of Arizona says that means there are more infected people. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avanier talked to the professor about how he reached that conclusion. Well, scientists say what comes out of your body and is ultimately flush down the toilet doesn't lie, especially when wastewater is analyzed for COVID-19 under a microscope. Everything that gets flushed down the toilet eventually ends up at a wastewater treatment plant. And it's at many plants across the U.S. where wastewater samples are being collected to predict where outbreaks of COVID-19 are likely to pop up. Dr. Ian Pepper is a scientist who has been analyzing wastewater samples from Jacksonville and other cities across the U.S. since the start of the pandemic. He explains how traces of COVID-19 in wastewater predicts which municipalities will experience a COVID outbreak. You will see the virus in the wastewater seven to ten days before people develop symptoms. So it's a leading indicator which can be very useful alerting county health departments that, you know, an outbreak is on the way. In other words, scientists have discovered a progression of COVID-19 detection. The first sign of a pandemic is the virus in the wastewater. About a week later, you'll start to see people with symptoms. Two weeks later, you will see hospitalization increase. Last year, JEA took part in the COVID wastewater detection sampling program, but stopped after several months. JEA issued a statement that reads, at the time, there were a lot of unknowns about COVID. There were long lines for COVID testing, and it could take a week or more to get the results back. It was thought that sewage surveillance could potentially provide an early warning system for trends in cases. The reason JEA ceased sampling the sewage system almost a year ago was because the results were inconclusive, meaning that results from the University of Arizona test indicated COVID indicators were below detection levels. Since then, there have been increased availability for individual COVID tests with results provided on the same day. Now, Dr. Ian Pepper says based on his analysis of the JEA samples he received, there were a lot of sediments in the samples that made it harder to determine the level of COVID in the wastewater. He says there were no other problems with samples he received from other wastewater treatment facilities across the U.S. Reporting live in the newsroom, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.